Okay. <clears throat> Tell you what, though. I've bought out my tree in here. I'll lend you my iPod. Yeah, but there's only so many times you can listen to the best of ABBA. Well, I've not had it that long. I'll stick some more stuff in it for you. All right. As you know, there's been damage to your spine. It can take a long time to heal properly. Okay. <clears throat> how long? Well, it looks like you might have to learn how to walk properly again. You were in a very bad way when you came to us. But, um, I mean, I'm going to be okay. You get Betty, you know that for sure, yeah? It'll take time, but yes, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have a full recovery. Right. You'll be seeing a physio on a regular basis. Lots of exercises to get those legs fully mobile. Mm -hmm. So I should, I should put my name down for the Manchester Marathon just yet, maybe. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year, no. It can be a very long and frustrating road back to full health and fitness. You'll have to be patient. OK, thanks. And Tyrone's... It's going to be weird, me having to cope with a wheelchair. Simon, how are you doing wheelies up and down the street? <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. Every cloud, eh? I think it's going to be great. Because if you're a pain, I'll just pack you up, chain you to a lamppost and leave you there, and there won't be a thing you can do about it. <laughs> I could nurse Ratchet. Oh, you cheeky. Great start to married life, though, eh? He didn't know you were signing up for all this. Hey, for better, for worse, that's what we said. Yeah. Would have been good to get a bit of the better in before we did the worse. How long have we been married? What, less than a week? She'd be jumping off wardrobes. You know, swinging off chandeliers. There'll be plenty of time for that. I don't deserve you. Don't say that. I love you. I love you too. I'm just glad you're still with us. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing for Ashley. Yeah, I know. He was a great fella, you know, Ashley. I just can't believe he's gone. He saved me life. The thing is, it really gets to me, is I'm not going to be able to thank him. <sighs> Hello, uh, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. I just wanted to nip in and say thanks for the card. Little things like that really perk him up. You're very welcome. How is he? Craving Eccles cakes, apparently. <laughs> Never eat some at home, but now we can't get enough. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Roy, I think I'll take two. Huh. I think I'll have a coffee while I'm here as well, Roy. Stuff at the hospital tastes like oxtail soup. All right, you are. Blimey, you look awful. Cheers. I had a visit from the team investigating the crash. Have they been to see you yet? Yeah, it's top of their list. It's not looking good. Yeah, you heard one or two people were pointing the finger. No, I'm half expecting a lynch mob. Join the front of the queue if you like. Don't. My mind's running riot. I keep playing it over and over. Why didn't I do something? Well, because you worked on it was serious. For all you knew, the gas was just playing up a bit. I didn't stop to think about it, you know, not for a minute. I'm too busy bogged down in my own problems. Yeah, well, it's always easy to be wise in hindsight. It's not like you were deliberately negligent, is it? No, but the results are the same. It's all down to me. I don't know how I live with myself. But no right to complain. I walked away from that terrible disaster with just a few scratches. Nick, you lost a friend. Your business. You. If I had half a brain, I'd walk away. Leave with her food forever. But if I thought just for one second, I had something to stay for. We have in Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>